too much. No, you could, don't have to mute. Just up a, like, just do no. what you need oh, to do. Oh, it's just because I'm eating, that's why. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get, get, I'll be down in like a couple minutes. Yeah, no worries. So yeah guys, uh, welcome to the next iteration of Tetris Wednesdays, where we have our beautiful games between our beautiful people. So this is our bracket, I'm gonna leave like five more minutes to sign up while I make a TF room. Uh, and yeah, just sort the last couple things out basically. But uh, props to Dal for being willing to commentate, because... I'd be screwed if it weren't for him, so... Okay. So right now it's looking like a beautiful eight-person uh, bracket, which is always convenient. Uh, and you, like, in this bracket, you would play uh, the person directly opposite from you. Uh, which is gonna be interesting. I already see some good matchups uh, in there. Here we go. Non-ranked. Expert plus. Do I make it private? I don't know how it works. Oh, two players. No maps, no items. Dude, beautiful background, sure. Okay. But you know what? I'll make it private, I guess. That's probably easiest, right? I have no idea how uh, uh, FD does it in general, or did it when he did TF tourneys, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. I mean, what I can do for you as well is just have the, if, if you make it public, I can just join and be that person to fill and then swap out whenever Oh yeah, that um, works. Someone's actually up. So that way you don't get any random people joining. Uh, I just made a private one and I'm putting it in the Discord. Uh, which should hopefully work just as well. Okay. But yeah, I think we've got all the people now. So I'm gonna make this final. Uh, how do you start the Is this just under bracket where there's like a start tournament button? Here we go, beautiful. Start the tournament. Perfect. Alright, we got Demillion and Adron. Okay, that's also the wrong bracket. Let me fix you up with the real bracket. I have no idea how to change Mubot commands, Mr. FAQ, I'm sorry. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of really interesting uh, matchups that I can't wait to see, uh, especially in this bracket. Okay. Alrighty. Ready. Uh, yo, Adron, if you could hop in this Tetris uh, room, buddy, that'd be that'd be swell. Uh, we can do, uh, do you, are you down for the one max? Okay, is Adron in the queue?
Yeah, one warm up max. Give the challenge. There you go. Can I not spec if it's my room? Uh, you should be able to. Because it says exit on next match, and that's like leaving the room in general. Yeah. Which uh, probably is what you can do is just click the link again. Yeah, that's true. And then you'll just join as a spectator while, um, and then like, they don't have to, the next people don't really have to start yet either. Yeah. So yeah, when Modest comes back, yeah, then we can start the warm up. Yeah, let me hit that uh that link again. Uh. Ugh. Got those beautiful ads coming up. You know how it is. Mm. Gotta love TF. Oh, also, uh, you could change the the title as well. On the Twitch. Oh, there we go. Nice. Yeah. No, I, I I changed it when I started, but I don't know. I think the Tetris Tuesdays was there from before, so I had to update. Okay. Okay, is D Million in there? Yeah, he, so he will do Okay, yeah, beautiful. Okay, yeah. So this is the warm-up game already between uh, okay. Adron and D Million. Uh... Commentary isn't super important here, just because the match hasn't started, but might as well, right? Good practice. Um, uh, how, how do you want to do the commentary? Should we uh, do it per round, or do you want to do it for each like match? So like, I'm down uh, for anything, whatever you'd prefer, honestly. Uh, you're the main host, so. <laughs> wow. <laughs> of course, making me make all the big decisions. Why don't we do uh, every round, because we'll both find like different stuff to say about the players and the matches and stuff. Do you want to do the first one for sure? Okay. Are you down with yeah, that? Yeah, sure, I'll do the first one. Okay, so yeah, good luck, have fun, guys, to Demilion and yeah. Adron. Let's see how this goes out. Yeah, can't wait. Oh, do I have to hit start? I have so much power. Uh, Demilion is the game host. Oh, you have it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Apparently. Uh, I don't know why I got hosted again, but I will take it. So we see D Million starting off with the PC. Adrian trying to get the PC in as well, but it was a bit too slow. D Million, what's he gonna do now? Looks like he's easy building a center of trying to build a center forehead. No, he doesn't. He just builds up a Tetris, then follows that up with a T-spin. He has another Tetris follow-on on that, which yeah, makes it a back-to-back. -back. And 19 seconds knocking out Adrian with 26 lines sent. That was crazy. Oof. Yo, Adron, I saw, like, his stack was really clean. He just didn't have the speed behind uh, the T-spins. Like, he even made, like, a really nice uh, foresight that I saw on his part. I was, like, yeah. impressed. Didn't know Adron had that kind of tech. Just, like, the speed was just his kind of downfall there. Agreed. And, yeah, looking like, uh, here we go. Adron starting out with a TKI. D-Million doing the same. Uh, it is one of the best openers, after all. Uh, D-Million, a little bit of a misdrop there, but we'll see if he's able to fix it cleanly, and does manage to with a nice skin there. Uh, yeah, both players keeping it clean, uh, not sending too much garbage at the moment. As I say that, D-Million, nice little spike there. Adron needs to get through this a little bit here, and that was not uh, getting through it fast enough there. Yeah, clean 2-0, or was that 2-0? It was, right? That, that was, that that was, was already 2-0, right? To uh, D-Million. So yeah, GG. Hey, GG boys. Alright, next up we have Galeon and Mikami. Or Galleon, I have no idea how to pronounce them. I'll ping them. Do you want me to ping them in chat instead? Uh, go for it. <laughs> okay, you've done that. Oh, I thought you meant like uh, Twitch chat. Oh, it's, it's okay. Beautiful. Also, that Moobot 
I think is showing the previous. Uh, yeah, I know. Bracket. I don't know how to change uh, Mubak commands. I could look it up. How did I leave? Did I get DC'd? I think I got oh, DC'd. I left as well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I might have gotten disconnected. I'm not sure. Uh, my internet's a little scuffed. Here, I'm no, making I'm a new room. i disconnected as well. It's okay. Yo, I have mod in this chat? That's hype. Uh, I mean, what? Uh, do you, do you want to make it? A public? Oh, it, doesn't, it doesn't exist anymore. I think what we can do is uh, a non-ranked room. Oh yeah, no, that's what I'm gonna do now. That's so that was the plan. Uh, all right, spectacular tropic deaths, depths, not deaths. My bad. Oh, join the wrong one. Thanks. I love the panda sound effect, I'm not gonna lie. TF is so charming. Uh, so Galleon, wait, is it Galleon against Mikami? Yeah, yeah? Galleon okay. Mikami, that's right. So whenever Galleon is ready, I think, there we go. So this is the warm up. Okay. Yeah. So what's starting off? Oh yeah, is this the warm up? They both said good luck. Well, well, we'll see. Either way, Mikami. Oh yeah, this is your round, we'll right? Go for it. See and plays it. Uh, gets the perfect clear on that. Galleon has some clean garbage, which he sends back and knocks Mikami out. With yeah, that's 15 yeah. seconds. Crazy. That's like the problem with PC though, right? Is that when you send that garbage, it's all clean, and you can just, you know, give him a hand. In the right time, that's exactly. it. It's, uh, very, uh, it can be very deadly. And yeah, uh, Mikami with the perfect clear, but Galeon, uh, with the TKI, was, didn't happen in time to counter it though, surprisingly. Uh, even though TKI is much faster, uh, Mikami able to block the garbage long enough there to get the PC off. Uh, and so both players pretty even playing field. Mikami, a lot of cheese on the bottom. Uh, I'm a little surprised that they aren't opting to down stack. Um, Galeon keeping a nice clean stack, very clean donation with the O there uh, over the hole. Um, yeah, Mikami, a lot of cheese to dig through, it looks like, finally getting to the garbage more. But uh, this is still a pretty precarious situation here. Uh, the uh, uh, Z piece isn't exactly doing her any favors either there over the garbage. And yeah. Uh, difficult to downstack here uh, for Mikami, it seems. A, lo a lot of cheese, and this might be a top out. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit unfortunate. Yeah. Sometimes when you just get cheese in the wrong places, it's really hard to downstack. It's a. Uh... Okay. So we will assume that was the first one was the um, was the warm up. So this was Galleon taking the first win. Yeah, it looks like and it. And here we go for round two. What is Galleon start? He started off with a DT cannon. Okay. And Mikami always starting off with those PCs. Galleon gets off, gets the uh, gets both those uh, the uh, double and the triple out. What's he gonna do now? I mean, Mikami uh, was able to uh, cancel some of those lines sent to her. Uh, just going for those, uh, trying to go for those Tetra, uh, Tetris down stacks. But we see Galleon now trying to do a trying to do a T spin. It looks like is he gonna try to follow up with a bit of combo going on? No, actually, instead he tries to stack up more for a Tetris. But we see Mikami knocks out Galleon. Wow. Is it very one one? To see. Yeah, it's one one now. Ooh, exciting. Yeah, can you pro uh, ping profane and tell him to join the queue because he's up next? Yeah. Oh no, he's in the he's in the lobby already. It's all good. Okay. Question. All right, and here we go. Uh, Mikami unable to get the PC off fast enough. Uh, I think that's the first time this set. But uh, deciding to go for the Tetris instead of the T-Spin there, uh, a little bit of potential there for a floating T-Spin, but opted not to go for it. Galeon just, uh, Galleon just keeping it clean, stacking Tetrises, it looks like. 
uh, opting to go uh, less for T-spins, I think, just to keep sort of a clean stack. And it does seem to be working. Mikami, a bunch of misdrops, it looks like there. Uh, it's going to be difficult to come back from this, but uh, now uh, in or uh, prepared for a T-spin, uh, opts not to go for it, uh, likely for the best, you know, just wasted a T-piece on... Uh, in down stacking, so then it's always uh, unlikely to get a quick T piece again. And a little bit of a messy stack here from Mikami. It's going to be tough uh, for her to down stack it, but uh, we'll see uh, if she's able to. There you go. Uh, back to a, a clean well. Galeon, a little bit of a scuffed stack we see here, but uh, able to get through it. Uh, and yeah, Mikami able to get down. Not too much pressure from Galeon here, from Galleon. Uh, and it does seem to be working out in his favor. Now Mikami with a big spike here. Galleon really close to the top here. Uh, curious to see how this one ends. Very close match so far. Uh, and yeah, Galleon able to get that T-spin off uh, just in time. Uh, Mikami, yeah, still down stacking more instead of uh, sending the garbage uh, and capitalizing as much as he could be on this sort of precarious situation that Galleon is in. So now Galleon actually has a chance to come back here. Very close, intense match here. Soon the hurry up garbage is going to start uh, if Galleon can't downstack this in time. Uh, and very nice decision to go for that T-spin single from Galleon, uh, keeping like a nice clean stack there. A big fan of that decision. Uh, and yeah, we're going to see what happens here. Oh, Galleon missing the T-spin uh, because of the soft drop speed on Tetris Friends here. Both players high up and hurry up garbage just starting. Very intense, very close here. Uh, both players pretty high up too. Uh, Galleon uh, about to get a lot of lines coming up. Uh, oh, but able to get through uh, to the bottom there. Or not to the bottom, but uh, down far enough. And Galleon does seem to have a little bit more cheese to get through. So if Mikami can just make this Tetris, it's going to be a difficult spot for Galleon to get out of. But he does manage to get out of it, but not get out of it enough. Wow, that was a crazy long game. Oof. That was a complete back and forth there, but yeah, yeah. well played to what Mikami a set. And, and Galleon. And yeah, Galleon was at the top uh, for so much of that game, but was just able to... commentate both your matches if you want to go for it yeah um, that'd be nice uh, mute yourself or yeah i, I just won't say anything I'll do <laughs> okay <laughs> all right uh I'm, i've pinged drape uh drape profane oh there we go okay so this is gonna be the warm-up so good luck to both as we see modest starting off with the yeah oh okay yeah So, Modest starting off with that PC, gets it, uh, gets it cleared and sends all that clean garbage. We see Propane trying to get that nice skimming action though, tries to go for a donation, but instead start starts stacking up, covering up that garbage hole. Probably gonna try build up and then try to combo, I guess, all the way down. Okay, no, doesn't like it, but we see Modest on the other side with that Tetris, following up with a T-Spin. There we go, another Tetris. That crit, that, uh, wasn't a back-to-back -back, though, I mean, he did clear one or, two, one or two lines there. But we see Propane covering up the garbage hole just a little bit, but bit of garbage tries to go tries to build up uh, but he gets a, a triple uh, line clear instead and profane knocking out modest tomato in the warm-up you know let me fix that mic real quick uh, oh, it's just it's just because you're you're key pressing quite a bit <laughs> like yeah, you can hear your uh, keyboard presses okay okay so good luck have fun and we see Modest starting off again with the PC of, I think we see Profane doing a nice uh, T-spin opening, but unfortunately, he didn't have the t 
you said Jamie instead, but maybe that was intentional. You actually got uh, those clean uh, garbage lines sent after Modest uh, clearing that PC, and he just returned, and they just returned that uh, very quick, very simple. All we need is those two eyepieces, and there we go. We see a uh, we see a tease been coming from uh, Profane, and now starting to get a little bit of a down that You know that sends a couple of single or uh, a single and a double of garbage lines. There we go. Modest hanging in there. He's Reaching a little bit to the top, he needs to try and uh, clear clear his own mistakes. Come on, Modest, have you got this? I don't know, but that's putting uh, Profane actually messing up their own stack, but just a little bit. There we go, we see Profane getting that uh, T-spin coming through, and is he going to try to stack further down? Just a little bit, adding that pressure continuously. I, I'm surprised to still see Modest still hanging in there, which is off, which is good to see. You can tell he has improved over, uh, over the past couple of months. And Profane at the bottom of the using those uh, garbage lines to set up a T-spin double. Nicely done. And Modest, he's in still, he's in a little bit of trouble now. If he can get, if he can down stack the, the garbage, there we go. Nice to see from him. And, and I think the uh, profit, we see that, that looks like a couple of uh, coaches that you do instead, but you know, you can transition those skills into TF. Very nice from Profane right there. It's Modest still at the top of his board. He's still got that continuous pressure. Can he, is he able to this break this through? Thing. He gets the teeth with Stingle. And he's gonna, he has to try to do a combo down stack. Unfortunately, Deep uh, Profane knocks out uh, Modest in the first, in the first round. So, second round, boys and girls, what's going to happen here? Oh, what is, oh, what is Modest, is Modest doing the Albatross? Oh, man. Or is that the Hatchie spin? I, I'm, I'm not familiar with whatever the, uh, the terms are, to be honest. But we see Profit trying to get those, uh, trying to get those uh, double line clear going on. Try, I think uh, they realized oh, he was trying to go for a, a four wide. Actually, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that was the average. Thank you, Demon. Yeah. There we go. We see a T-spin double coming from a Profane, getting that uh, couple line clears, and then following that up with a Tetris. We see Modest now getting that T-spin double snap. Can he, can he pull it off? Can he, maybe he can cancel those lines sent from Profane, but Profane just coming back with a back-to-back -back T spin right there. Definitely gonna send some lines. Modest, he's got a seat for some clean garbage that he can definitely downstack. Hopefully he can get back to the bottom of his board before he gets off. Oh, that was a nice, a nice T spin triple setup, but cleared the cleared the one uh cleared the one line and unfortunately modest missed drops and he gets punished by Profane. Well played Profane and Modest Tomato. Yeah, good games, Profane. Uh, need to play more TF, uh, I would say, but the game's gonna die in like two days. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. who is next? Uh, Mr. FAQ and Ruta no, Baga. I've got a. Oh, uh, here we go. Where is Mi oh, Mr. FAQ? Is there? As well? You want to commentate this next uh, next round? Uh, sure, I'll go for it. Yeah, Mr. FAQ okay. Rutabaga, actually a matchup that happened in one of the most recent Tetris uh, Tuesdays, uh, where they played in loser semifinals. Uh, and Rutabaga did come out on top, but that was a very interesting tournament. Uh, Rutabaga also uh, upset Ishiba in that tournament, which was very impressive to see. Uh, but yeah, this set was 3-2 in Rutabaga's favor. And we'll see how this one turns out. So Mr. FAQ, a really nice clean stack here. Uh, I've noticed uh, from just from watching Mr. FAQ's play that he really seems at home on TF, uh, where a lot of players uh, are sort of like put off by uh, some of the mechanics or like features of the game. And really big unfortunate uh, misdrop there from the J, and it looks like that's going to lead to the top out there. I don't know if you saw as well, uh, Ruta Bega actually started with a BT cannon, oh, which yeah. is not that, we don't normally see that actually, I mean, but it was very interesting. I Ruta Bega actually, he's a big fan of that opener. Uh, I know oh, he is he? Was, okay, uh, fair enough. Petitioning in the Garbo cord uh, about moving it higher on Garbo's tier list for like 12 days straight. Oh jeez, okay. Yeah. I think we're gonna see another BT yeah, cannon as well. Looking like another uh, BT cannon. Well Ruta Bega's a huge BT fan. Uh, but yeah, didn't and get it off there. 
uh, and a little bit of a... Yeah, I think he got cancelled out by Mr. FAQ's uh, DT cannon instead. Yeah. But he's yeah. actually creating a... He actually had a couple of... Um, he had a couple of Mishros, but he cleared them nicely. But we see Mr. FAQ getting that T-spin triple set up, and that might actually be, get, uh, yeah. be Mr. FAQ taking the round. Wait, yeah. is he, has he won two now, or...? It's one only because the warm up was so quick. But yeah, Rutabaga, yeah, we can see he says in chat, uh, not really used to TF, and from like the missed drops, you can definitely tell. Uh, Tetris Friends, you know, vastly different game from other platforms like Jaystress, uh, especially. Uh, so a lot of players uh, likely won't be super used to it. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, Rutabaga, Okay, and we uh, see. The signature BT God, God, you here. did. Uh, Mr. FAQ missing the perfect clear, uh, and Rutabaga uh, deciding to sort of stack a little bit over the garbage. Uh, interesting decision. Uh, we'll see how he handles those. Uh, like I think uh, tried to go for a lot of T spins there, but didn't visualize the overhang correctly. And Mr. FAQ just piling on this damage. Wow. And Rutabaga already in danger of topping out here. It's going to be really difficult to recover from that, even if uh, Mr. FAQ isn't able to send a garbage, but he still is. And yeah, this, that was a blowout. Mr. FAQ is a strong TF player. Yeah, Mr. FAQ is very impressive on TF. Uh, GG's. Uh, so, it is now um, D million against Galleon. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have to play my losers match against Rutabaga. Uh, so. Okay. What I'm gonna do is open up like a second tab uh, and TF on it, and then like mute the tab. It's gonna be beautiful. Either way, it's not gonna get streamed. Uh, and you can keep commentating, I think. Uh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, All I'll right, mute so myself we again. Uh, uh, D million versus Galleon. So this is going to be the first warm up, and we see D Million and, and Galleon stop both starting off with those TKIs, both following it up uh, near, uh, almost identical with with the second T spin. But unfortunately, Galleon wasn't able to fulfill that second T spin. He starts just building up normal stacking now, but we see D Million getting those nice spins in as well as following it up with those T spins. You know, I think uh, he has been practicing quite a bit on TF, which is always good to see, especially uh, considering we've only got a couple of days left before it closes. And we see Galleon at the fairly fairly high up on his leaderboard. D Million constantly adding those that pressure. And you just saw, I don't know if you guys noticed, it was just back to back after back to back. And that's what results with the 37 line sent in 35 seconds. Considering that was just the warm-up, we know we have a crazy two matches up ahead at least. So yes, good luck to both Galleon and uh and D Million. Yeah, wait, I think there is a problem there, uh, modest. Tetris, back to back. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, so, uh, there, I think there is a bit of a slight problem, but don't worry, we'll, we'll play this game out. Uh, we see, well, oh man, we see both of them roughly near the middle of their board, and uh, Demillion got that nice teaspoon following up with a down stack with Galleons. So he's, he's cleared all of his own, uh, all of his own minas that he stacked. He's just got garbage. He's just got garbage from Demillion sent over. I don't know what uh, Galleons going to try to do. I think he's going to just try clear him as as quickly as possible, which includes uh, clearing a couple singles, couple doubles, and there we go. Get that Tetris from Galleon, but Demillion still hanging in there. He has a lot of single garbage, which can which can definitely be a hassle trying to clear down. But there he goes. He's finding his way down to the bottom of the board nicely done and creates and now eventually he has a nice clean garbage stack as well as his own stack which he can she has so many options to do and he and he uses that option he use, uses the uh, option to create t-spins often t-spins on t-spins with a uh, crazy back-to-backs there following it up with another uh, with another air tsd and there we go wow 74 lines crazy from d million Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit weird how uh, uh, I'm commentating a match you guys can't really see unless you're in the, unless you're in the, uh, unless you're in the, uh, spectating the actual game on TF. Oh wow.
Okay, it's okay. Um, I mean, you guys are just going to have to imagine what, what I'm saying to you guys. <laughs> but it's okay. We see Galleon getting those nice teaspoon doubled. I think... Yeah, otherwise you, you would... It would um, show... It, it, would, it just shows the browser itself. But yeah, it's okay. I'm back. Uh, for uh, a second. So, I missed a lot of the match there. Apparently you can't have two tabs of TF open at the same time. Uh, and it keeps yep, you out. And there is a little yeah. miss... Uh, miss uh, cal- uh, no, um, misinformation because Mikami actually beat Galleon and Galleon is through to the next round from round one. Mikami beat Galleon, you said? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that is why. I don't know but why. Galleon is through to the way. next round. I'm stupid. <laughs> Apologies. And, but uh, D-Million still won, but I think that, I, I think that means um, it's, it's D-Million against uh, Mikami. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. Oh, oh my god. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> this is rough. Uh, That's sorry. I, I, mod- modest is on work experience, guys. It's okay. Yeah. See, this is proof that I don't know how to run a tournament. Like, <laughs> I get made hey, fun man. of it all no, the time. Hey, don't but worry about it's that. True. You, I saw, it. you saw you saw my you saw my tournament before, and it? it was a complete shambles at the beginning. I mean, I don't know. You haven't seen this. This is. I'd argue this is worse. Oh, you're setting the bar right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if um, um, if so D Million and Mikami can start playing, too, just so that I can actually play. Yeah. Uh, okay. Do you want to commentate this this match then? Sure, uh, I'd be happy to commentate this match. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Demillion Mikami. Uh, this looking like warm up here. Uh, Mikami. I can already sense. This. I can feel the attempt at the signature P, uh, PC opener, and actually didn't get the right bag for it. There are rare bags where you just can't execute the PCO, and that was one of them. Demillion just stacking Tetris. Uh, interesting strategy here. Trying to, I guess, uh, use his superior speed just to. Um, Sort of, I guess, gain an advantage over Mikami, and it doesn't seem to be doing uh, poorly, uh, as he's keeping like a clean stack here. Not that Mikami isn't Mikami playing very well at the same time, uh, stacking very nicely here. Uh, also stacking for Tetris, as it seems. Uh, yeah, Demillion, nice down stacking, uh, T spin there, uh, and there was a little bit of potential for a donation there, but opted not to go for it. Uh, yeah, Mikami a little high, but very clean garbage. Shouldn't be too difficult to get through uh, for her. Uh, and Demillion now uh, close to topping out, it looks like. And that's going to be the warm-up going to Mikami. I can't wait to see how this one turns out. Okay. Here we go, game one, uh, D-Million uh, and Mikami. Uh, Mikami, guess what opener? Oh my god, it's PC. <laughs> yeah, D-Million, nice uh, double teaspoon opener there. Uh, I don't actually know the name because I am uh, not very knowledgeable, but uh, still very clean. But as I say that, sort of not a very clean stack on D-Million's part. But what is clean is that garbage, and he's going to be able to down stack that pretty well, probably. Uh, and yeah, you got a very clean stack again. Now Mikami, a little bit of cheese, uh, and then uh, Tetris to sort of down stack, but gotta get through the cheese first. Mikami was having a little bit of trouble down stacking the other game. We'll see if she's able to do better here. It does look like it does reach the garbage, but just not in time for uh, uh, to sort of stress you know, uh, pressure. Uh, yes, Galleon. Uh, Galleon. Uh, Wizards Brackets are being streamed uh, just today because I can't open TF in another tab without being disconnected. <laughs> and yeah, Mikami, again, opting for a PC uh, and unable to get it there, but uh, is prepared for another PC. D-Billion, uh, meanwhile, setting up a spike there, able to do it. Oh, very nice floating T-spin there. 12 lines sent and just that small little spike and yet Mikami trying to get down to it. But yeah, very clean down stack uh, and able to reach the garbage, uh, which is definitely very, like, very impressive. Uh, and yeah, it's 
gonna have to keep it clean here, especially with Demillion with the 1 0 lead here. And yeah, the misdrop uh, on the uh, J piece isn't gonna help. But now, as I say that, Demillion misdrops an L, uh, facing some difficulties of his own. And, uh, but very clean fix there as well uh, by him, which is very impressive. Yeah, Mikami having a little bit of trouble down stacking. Uh, and that's gonna be the game. And set. Okay, so who is next up? Yeah, it looks like it we'll is Profane and Mr. And FAQ. Beautiful. Uh, hey. So yeah, this is looking like a okay, so warm up game. Yeah, this uh, is going to be the warm up, I think. Yeah, and we see like uh, Profane starting off with that uh, T spin double, and we saw Mr. FAQ getting those Tetrises in. Uh, looking like so sending a couple a uh, couple cheese following on with those back to back lines from uh, from Profane. Uh, Mr. FAQ is in a bit of trouble right now. It's just complete, just complete line after line wow. after line. Very interesting. Good luck, have fun, guys. Yeah, can't wait to see how this one turns out. Okay, who is gonna start off with what? And we see Mr. FAQ starting off with the PC opener and I guess it really right off the bat so fast. Uh, and I think uh, Profane started off with a nice T-spin double there. But unfortunately he misses the IP, IP drop. The and if that's gonna create, that might create a punish. Oh, oh no, my wow. Goodness. That was very unfortunate to see from Profane. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry for interrupting, but you know that feeling where you just, you have to like, oh, you just kind of flinch a little bit <laughs> yeah. for the eyepiece misdrop. We've all been there. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. We have definitely all been there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Mr. FAQ taking the first round. Well, oh, yeah. And Mr. FAQ starting off with a DT cannon and uh, and Profe starting off with a nice TKI, following it up with an another T uh, TSD setup. Okay, uh, try it. Wasn't able to go for the third, but instead just chooses the option to downstack and right at the bottom of the lead, uh, uh, of the board downstack. is Profane and Mr. FAQ. Right, at the, uh, well he was at the top, but he got some nice downstacks in, downstacks in. Tries to clear those singles, oh, but unfortunately Profane is insane, insane in the Profane right there. <laughs> insane in the membrane Profane. Yeah, and that is one one. Another close set. We'll see how this one turns out. Mm. Yeah, here we go. Uh, both starting off with a T piece. Mr. FAQ turning it into a DT cannon, and Profane starting off with another TKI. Seems to be a common theme of this set. And yeah, Mr. FAQ holding off a long time on that uh, uh, T spin triple there from the DT, just to sort of like set out, just to tank more garbage, I think. And it does seem to be working out. Downstack very clean uh, for Mr. FAQ. Uh, I, as I say that, like, like the stacking is a little bit atrocious here. But uh, yeah, unfortunately not able to get out of that uh, pickle there. Uh, but yeah, uh, so that it is happens profane. Yeah. I mean, Adrian and Galleon can play their game off stream, right? Uh, they can if they like, yeah. So, it, I think it's going to be Profane versus D Million. Uh, well, so we're going to do losers before uh, winners. Finals, I think. Oh, what? Now? Oh, yeah, what? Semifinals? Because uh, we finished semifinals now, right? Because uh, Profane beat uh, FAQ. So we're going to. No, semifinals will be uh, D Million against Profane. Well, that's technically winners finals because I, I don't know how they call it what they call it it's like winners finals and grand finals technically like, okay who even won i'm like blanking here it was 2-1 profane right or was it 2-1 faq 2-1 profane okay just making sure all right okay okay so yeah. then rutabaga hop in here uh galleon uh if you want to play adron off stream go for it i'll stream losers round two though Million hopping in here, trying to give me a challenge. Oh, gave you the I free thought, win. You know? <laughs> 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 Just messing around. <laughs> <laughs> I kid, of 
And yeah, uh, Rutabaga, do you want this warm up or no? Yeah, just get right into it. Okay, yeah, he's got Okay, he's, he's alright. It's alright, it's this warm up. So we see uh, Ruta, Ruta Baker starting off with that BT cannon and look, he gets a nice, uh, nice little setup going on there. Uh, Modus, he's got some nice clean garbage which, which he can easily clear with the with the eyepieces, nice. But we see uh, Ruta Baker gets, uh, he also, also, it looks like he's just going up for the clean stacking, trying to get that Tetris. And there he goes, gets it done, done nicely and he gets that no, nice uh, T-spin double setup. I don't know what's going on on Modus' side, he's got, he's got a bit of trouble. Oh no! Oh no, not like this, boys! Don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, do post game analysis, yeah? <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll psych you up. <laughs> oh, it's all good. Okay, so good luck, have fun. So we see Modest start, I think he started off with a, a PC opener and we see uh, Ruta Vega nice getting that, uh, getting that BT cannon in and Modest Thanks successfully pulls off the, T, uh, oh, the PCO, um, wow, he was insane. Well played. Yeah, that was very unfortunate on uh, Ruta Vega's end. I think I think we're always gonna see a nice BT cannon opening uh, from him, but he wasn't able to get that uh, TSD from uh, that time. But we see uh, Modest got that nice DT cannon successfully uh, pulling both of those T spins out, and he's uh, put uh, Rutabaga at, at a high point of his board. And I'm not sure if he's gonna get punished here. He's he's just got oh wow, insane. That was very unfortunate on Rutabaga's end. But he had he had the stack ready for the eyepiece, but it just wasn't there. Oh wow! And yeah, Rutabaga, like we've all been there. I know that feeling. <laughs> hey, it really be like that sometimes. It really does. It's like that uh, sometimes. Was that two yeah. O? Never happened. I think that was two O. Oh shoot! I didn't even hit. First of all, D Mailing, this isn't the first time, right? So let's relax a little bit over. <laughs> Hey man, that was good. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll take it. I didn't even play well. Uh, just you know, it's it's TF. Anything can happen on TF. But uh, did uh, can someone just hop in the room so that I can just kind of exit? I think we're gonna do like pretty much all of losers, uh, like losers round one and two uh, now. So I don't know if Adron and okay. Galleon, Galleon are playing. Uh, they might be playing off. They might be playing off, or like not on the because uh, they're they're both not in this uh, in I this keep... room. So we can we can play Mikami and Modest Tomato. Um, yeah, that's yeah, true. You... Uh, Mikami, if you're here, uh, go for it. Grab a free win. Okay, so two zero for G G Galleon, four Galleon, right? I'm assuming. Oh, there we go. Yeah, uh, two zero yeah. to Galleon. Uh, yeah. So we have what, Mr. FAQ versus Galleon, and me versus Mikami. With the, P the opener, but wasn't able to get the PC uh, through on that side. But Mikami is nice, got again that nice down stack, has that T spin double uh, set up. And I, I think he's gonna go for a down stack, tries to go for a combo down stack, but unfortunately not able to get. 
get it this time, but it's not too much of a problem. We've got ourselves set up nice for a T-spin following, oh, well, the T-spin single, but then gets the Tetris without the back-to-back -back because they had to clear one line. On Modest end, we see uh, some nice stacking. He had a little bit of trouble with, his, with, with that stacking, but he cleared it nicely. Now he just has a, he's trying to go for that T-spin uh, double setup, but instead goes for the T-spin uh, single. He wasn't able to fill up uh, the hole on the on the right hand side, but he's still getting that. Uh, he's still getting his. Uh, he's still holding his own. He gets that nice uh, T-spin double setup ready, ready to cancel out the line. Uh, those lines uh, sent from Mikami with that with her own T-spin double. But Mikami at the bottom of the board. I mean, Modest has a lot of cheese which he definitely has to work down as soon as possible. Otherwise, he is going to pay the price. He does cover it, uh, cover up the garbage hole with that overlock. But he nice. He gets those uh, nice two flying this. There we go. Even he still got that. He still got this cheese that he's really got. Uh, really got to take into consideration and unfortunately he gets knocked out by Mikami. Those those uh, single line cheese can be annoying. And oh yeah that was that was the warm-up still. Oh did I even mute my mic? I don't think I did. Uh it's okay. Okay so good luck have fun guys. What openers are we gonna see today? And we see Mikami starting off with the PCO uh, as PC opener, but wasn't able to find the PC. So instead, she uh, she makes the uh, she tries to T-spin and follows that with a Tetris. Unfortunately for Modest Tomato, he has a misdrop of his own with that TPs, and he has to really clear these lines very quickly before he gets punished too much. And there we go, he gets he gets some nice line plays going on. He does cover up the, his own uh, gob, uh, his own uh, stack hole there for a bit. Oh, and unfortunately, he gets knocked out by Mikami. Oh. That was a bit unfortunate. Yeah, I think you did have a, you did have a, a later start. It was probably um, lagging. So Mikami with the first win, and there we go. We see a, another uh, PCO coming through with uh, with Mikami, and we see Modest. Oh, he um, he tries to go for the DT cannon, but he's only going to be able to get the the TSD, but, uh, and then if he gets the other TP, they're following it up with a T-spin single instead. But there we go. It's not it's not too much of a problem right now. He can still clear, uh, still clear his, uh, his his mistakes, which he does nicely, and and doing so, he tries to get a nice T-spin single setup. And he uses the yo nice. He, gets, he follows that up with another uh, T-spin double. Well played from him, but he does definitely he has some garbage which he can which he can clear, uh, clear through if he just has the right pieces. Not so messy. But we see Mikami's end uh, still holding a own, still trying to apply that pressure as much as possible. Still a strong play, both strong players. But we see uh, Mikami near the top of the board is a nicely done. She, she does get uh, she does get a bit more room there. Getting those two eyepieces, using them both for the garbage sent to sent to it by Modest Tomato is going up, is complete back and forth right now. Just uh, Modest has a little bit of trouble with his stack, and unfortunately he gets punished. And that is Mikami taking the second win. Unlucky Modest. Yeah, I don't know. Like, but Mikami is a strong player. Running all of a sudden, lag is my excuse. Totally not that Mikami is a better player or anything. <laughs> Totally. <laughs> I mean, I mean, TF is broken, isn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> I don't know who this guy is, but he he's going for he's going for the PCO himself, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so Mr. FAQ and Galleon can play uh, next uh, if that works. Could you ping them if they're not here? Uh, actually, I think they might both be here. I have no idea if Galleon is. <laughs> okay, he Wait just left. <laughs> he, just, he just dipped. <laughs> uh, oh, he's back it's in okay, though. It's all good. Okay, so uh, you can commentate this match. Oh yeah, let's so do good. it. Uh, yeah. Is who who else has to be in here? A galleon, right? Uh, Mr. FAQ and Galleon. So Galleon, yeah. where is Galleon at? Doesn't seem to be in the room. Uh, we'll ping him on. Um, on 
Oh, on the Discord. You got this, Mr. FAQ. You're seated higher, right? It's got a... <laughs> Gotta mean something, right? Here we go. Beautiful. And yeah, here we go. Mr. FAQ starting with a nice DT cannon here. Galleon opting for the, uh, not a floating T-spin, decided to cancel it. And, uh, Galleon, uh, keeping a very low, st I mean, Mr. FAQ keeping a low stack, and wow, what a crazy, uh, what a crazy map. Starting off, we see Galleon starting off with a, with a T spin double, but we see Mr. FAQ trying to get that DT cannon going on. But unfortunately, he has a crazy miss drops, and he's probably gonna be he might be most likely get punished now by uh by Galleon. And unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, yeah, uh, Mr. FAQ okay, gets I'm knocked bad. out by Galleon. My bad. <laughs> so, don't worry, don't worry, man. Don't, right. don't worry about that one. Uh, but yeah. Am, am so I that was that was that was that the first that was the first match to to Galleon. Oh yeah, there you go. So well, first, a, first first game, yeah, to yeah. Galleon. So yeah, there you go. Uh, so I guess I'll take this one. So uh, yep. Galleon uh, opening up with a nice TKI. Mr. FAQ opting for a lot of DT cannons, uh, which is uh, it's a very good opener, but uh, against someone faster than you, it's a little risky. Then again, Galleon isn't faster than uh, Mr. FAQ, which is probably why uh, it's uh, a good option here. And uh, both players very clean stacking here. A little bit of a misdrop there from Mr. FAQ and stacking a little bit over it as well. Not a huge fan of that decision, but it does work out in the end. Uh, and able to get a nice T-spin out of it too. Uh, and yeah, using the O-block there, uh, Mr. FAQ, uh, to, uh, opting not to go for the T-spin there, uh, which might have been vital. Uh, and now, I say, as right as I say that, Mr. FAQ misdropping a little bit there. Able to clear it and very cleanly, but... Uh, Still in a little bit of a difficult spot here, uh, and yeah, Galleon just is, keeps piling on the pressure here, sending a very clean, very nice. Guy. As I say that, I, I'm I'm just like commentators curse over here. Uh, Galleon, unfortunate misdrop there, and yeah, it's a tough spot to get out of, uh, especially. Uh, and yeah, as I say that, it's a nice down stack combo there. Uh, very good decisions by Galleon there. Uh, extremely impressive play. And, uh, unfortunate eyepiece misdrop there. This is going to be a little, a uh, little very difficult to come back from. Uh, if uh, Mr. FAQ can just stay clean, this is looking like a win. Wow, Ooh. that was a very close match. Major oof on on uh, Galleon's part. Yeah, that was a close game for sure. Uh, yeah. Very, very both very high, especially at the end. Uh, and yeah, very close to topping out. Yeah, this is okay. game three. Uh, we'll so we out. see Galleon starting off with a TKI, Mr. FAQ instead going for the DT cannon, he chooses to go for the PC opener but wasn't able to get the PC and he just uh, gets sent lines from Galleon just now, he got sent free garbage lines but Galleon, uh, I mean Mr. FAQ still holding his on, we see Galleon getting that T-spin double where he tried to go for a nice combo down stack, definitely got uh, well, sent uh, one one bit of garbage uh, line there but we see Mr. FAQ trying to use that gar uh, using those garbage lines to set up a TSD and trying to follow that up with a Tetris and that created the back to back uh, with that teaspoon sing uh, with the teaspoon sing we used uh, previously but Galleon still holding his own he's, uh, he's uh, his stack isn't looking too bad right now we see Mr. FAQ looks like he's going for the idea of just tetrises and then trying to combo down as much as possible Galleon cancels some of those out with his own with his own uh, tetris and uses that uses the teaspoon double gets that nice back to back going on right now but here we go uh, Mr. FAQ has a little has made a bit of a bit of a mistake on his part of his stacking but I'm not sure if he's going to be able to clear it as quickly as possible and unfortunately Galleon knocks him out uh well played to Galleon and Mr. FAQ there yeah very close GG's game. boys uh, and yeah GG's good set uh, and yeah Galleon and Mikami in a loser's semi-finals aka loser's round three 
but if I think we might as well st start with the uh, winners finals of uh, D Million versus Profane, uh, just to give the losers players a break because they've been because uh, they've been uh, playing a lot of matches. I think everything from here should be best of five, just because that's like a good point to start best of five. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, uh, Profane and Demillion uh, gonna be in here. Yeah, can't wait to see this uh, winner's final. Uh, it's gonna be interesting for sure. This is definitely gonna be interesting, Profane. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, nice Profane's got the nice uh, t uh, single clears. Um, okay, I'll commentate this one. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is all good. So yeah, this is this is uh, still the warm up. Don't uh, don't forget, this is going to be a best of five instead. Uh, this D million against Profane in the semi-finals right now. We see uh, Profane getting that nice TSD. Oh, uh, D million made a bit of a misdrop, but uh, is he going to be able to uh, uh, fix his mistakes? Uh, I'm not sure if he is. He oh, he does nicely, just in time, as as he was getting sent lines from Profane. Profane just made the, uh, their own mistake now on that Z piece, but uh, I think I think uh, yeah, it won't be too much of a problem to try clear. As I say, that they do that uh, with with ease even, and D million has got a bit of a uh, got a bit of uh, cheese garbage, but he uses that night. He uses those single bits of. Uh, single lines of garbage to create a uh, t-spin doubles and there we go d million starting to stack up ready for that tetris he gets a nice ts uh, d in uh, before before trying to uh, clear his down stack and that creates a lot more uh, a lot more power on d million side and that knocks profane out in the first warm-up from what if you can take this next one yeah uh sounds good uh, so yeah, that was a very close one. Especially like that a uh, uh, donation from D Million at the end, very creative. Uh, and yeah, can't wait to see uh, where this goes. Uh, so yeah, uh, Profane, a little bit of I, I can't tell if it's misdropping or just a creative opener, but I'm gonna guess the latter here. Uh, D Million uh, setting up uh, what would have been an STSD, but does still uh, keep the STSD there in mind. Uh, and that's a very big spike there for Profane. We'll see if he's able to get through it. Uh, does manage to get a T-spin off here, but Demillion is just ST stacking him into oblivion. It looks like keeping it really clean. Uh, and yeah, if he can just if he can just pile it on fast enough. But as I say that, not really able to do that. Unfortunate misdrop there. Demillion just threw it all away. Oof. So that's Profane with the first win. Yeah. Okay. You want to take this one? Yeah. So we see. Oh, um, is that Demon going for? Is that the Hachi spin? Hachi, I Hachi, think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, we see uh, Profane just getting that nice Tetris in, follow, trying to follow that up with a T spin double setup. And that's going to send a, that's a back to back right there from Profane to D Million. D Million has to really clear his own stack right now in order to try to get to the bottom of the board. Otherwise, he's going to be punished quite a bit, but he's, he's uh, got himself nicely set up for a Tetris, following that up with another back to, excuse me, back to back Tetris. And Profane in a little bit of trouble right now with that one hole in, in the stack that really has uh, made the difference from playing, from, from the pressure added uh, from D Million. But as I say that, uh, Profane is able to uh, hold their own, really. I mean, getting that nice T-spin single, trying to uh, cancel out those lines that were sent from D Million. And uh, we see D Million getting that nice TSD, trying to get, oh, well, yeah, getting that TSD and then just adding on those, the, the follow-up on that and knocking out Profane. Yeah, uh, that was uh, some very nice uh, spiking there from D Million uh, against Profane there. Uh, playing very clean. And yeah, here so that's 1-1. One, one. Uh, yeah, 1-1. One, one. Uh, Profane uh, and D Million both opting for TKI there. 
uh, and Profane getting a nice second T-spin off it. Uh, D-Million, I think, misdropping a little bit, or maybe that was just the ton of Tetris friends with the you know, piece placement lag there. Uh, but still keeping it very clean here, both players, uh, except for Profane. Uh, that was a little bit of a foul T-spin there, but so which does break back-to-back -back for him. But uh, it does look like he's going to be able to work that out. Uh, but it, now he's in a lot of danger, and that's, yeah. Wow, that was some clean stacking from D Million right there. Yeah, played very clean that game. Yeah, that's 2 1 for D Million. Let's see how this turned out. And yeah, here we okay. go. Okay. So another another T spin double coming from Profane and uh, Demillion chooses to build up a Tetris, but he still manages to get a nice TSD uh, right at the top of his stack, and he follows that up nicely uh, with the Tetris, and he uses the he uh, creates an opening for himself to create uh, to set himself up with a TSD, following that up with a with a Tetris, and there we go, another TSD coming in from uh, from Demillion. Profane in a bit of trouble now with that with that miss drop on the JPs. Oh no! Oh wow! Not like this, and I, that is. One. Is that that's is that game? Yep, that's game. And uh, yeah, wow. very close there. Uh, uh, but pre, uh, D Million played really cleanly there. Uh, yeah, very, so, yeah, very. Gotta give uh, it to him. Uh, to be, to be completely fair, that was very well done on his part. And yeah, now yeah, Galleon definitely. and Mikami are up. So wait, Mikami and Galleon. That's correct. Yeah. The signature PCO. Uh, oh, misdropping the Tetris PC there. That's so unfortunate. That would have been a huge spike. And yeah, now a little bit of a difficult spot here for Mikami. Uh, able to sort of downstack a little bit here, but it's, uh, it does look like uh, Mikami's running into a bit of trouble. Uh, just trying to get down here, and that's looking like to be uh, priority number one. Does manage to make that Tetris, but Galleon staying very clean and playing very aggressive here. Gotta be careful that he doesn't go too overboard so that he can still recover from misdrops. Uh, and as, it, as I say that, he did uh, misdrop that T piece there uh, because of the slow soft drop time and yeah, because of that high stack and he was just unable to. Uh, Oof, I mean, you saw Galleon trying to go yeah, for the fractal there. Fractal, but... yeah. uh, it was the cleanest yeah. misdrop fix there, uh, but it was also like extremely risky. Uh, and yeah, it did, thing was, it so at, at, the at the beginning. At the beginning, uh, Mik uh, Mikami got sent really clean garbage from Galleon. So he was able to just use the eyepieces and just send it right back. Exactly, yeah. Uh, so yeah, we have uh, Mikami going for the famous PCO and uh, pulls it through. Nicely done with that one bit of uh, that one bit of garbage <laughs> you see right there. Can be a tease sometimes. And there we go. I mean, uh, all that garbage uh, with a nice clean hole on on the left side. You know, that's, uh, that's that could be pretty good for Galleon on Galleon's end because he can just as you saw, you got that nice teeth and double, and then follows that with a back to back Tetris. There we go. He's nice. Now he's getting that. Uh, now he's getting that down stacking on. And Mikami is in a bit of trouble. We'll have to really get through this. Oh, it might this might be uh, taking the round now. But oh no! Oh, she comes back. Wow! So wow! Get that. Gets that T spin double. Tries uh, uses that eyepiece to down stack and then follows it through both at the middle of the boards. Wow! This is, that was that was a close one. I mean, we we have all been there playing just at the top, trying to make sure you just don't die, and that's it coming through. But unfortunately, Galleon takes that win. Wow! Wow! That was crazy. Mikami was so close too, like after coming back and everything. That was impressive. Yeah. So that's one zero to one Galleon. Zero. Yeah, there you go. And yeah, here we go. Uh, game two. Uh, we'll see if uh, Mikami, you know, going for that signature perfect clear opener there. And uh, it does uh, work out just in time uh, before Galleon's TKI. And uh, Mikami now with uh, some very clean garbage, and Galleon a little bit of a messy stack here. Uh, gonna re is a, very, a little very piece dependent here, but uh, does look like that's gonna get fixed pretty well here. Uh, but Mikami also just keeping it clean, making some very good decisions here, especially with that uh, T-spin there, uh, and just 
uh, staying very low, uh, choosing not to upstack as much as Galleon. Uh, Galleon is really choosing to, playing a little more defensively. Uh, I wonder why. Um, but it just maybe just doesn't want to undergo the risk that comes with stacking very high. Uh, and as long, I mean, Mikami also just staying clean with a lot of these T-spins. But Galleon, a four-wide hybrid type thing. <laughs> and yeah, that's, that's, uh, Mikami actually does manage to go through all of that garbage uh, in time. So, uh, just manages to sort of keep uh, everything clean and uh, equal and safe here. And uh, yeah, Galleon stacking a little high over garbage uh, again. Uh, is managing to downstack uh, in time now, it looks like. Uh, and yeah, getting the Tetris opening up the well here. Uh, that's a relatively big spike here, uh, but Mikami able to cancel most of it. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, this is a long game already here. Uh, hurry up garbage not too far away here. Uh, and yeah, both players uh, very even positioning here. Uh, Mikami a little lower on the playing field, and, but still stacking very cleanly. And Galleon uh, also a very nice stack, even though he's a bit higher up here. Uh, and just Galleon deciding to go for a lot of these T-spins that, that Mikami is both canceling and opting just to tank and downstack. And it's keeping the game very close here. Uh, we'll see what happens. Hurry up garbage about to start here. Um, and yeah, both players now gotta, gotta find that last little spike, that extra little bit of damage that they can do to the opponent and Mikami in a tough spot from Galleon's strike. It looked like Mikami had control at the at the like around uh, the the one minute thirty. Yeah. The moment the, the moment the uh, hurry up garbage started uh, coming through, then that was it. It started turning around. Yeah, crazy. Okay, so that is two zero to Galleon. You got this one. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, we see uh, Galleon going off nicely there with a the TSD, and, and we didn't actually see Mikami uh, come through with a PCO this time. Very, very different to see, you know, maybe try to switch up the tactic right there, trying to confuse the opponent. But, uh, I mean, uh, you see the, the couple uh, garbage line, uh, uh, garbage cheese lines on Galleon, but he's still, he's powering through. He made a bit of a misdrop there with that J piece. Maybe Mikami can punish a little bit, but no, actually, he clears, he clears it just in no time. He doesn't have, he hasn't made much of a, uh, much of a stack on his own, on his own. So he's able to just clear those lines very quickly uh, and efficiently. And there we go. We see Mikami trying to get that uh, T-spin double win. Gets those uh, two lines uh, sent. And follows through with that uh, T spin nicely. There we go. Trying to look for, trying to look for that J piece. And there we go. Uh, another TSD from Mikami. Galleon still holding his own. He's, he's not worrying. I don't think he's in too much uh, of heat right now. And uh, we see Mikami following up through with a with another Tetris. Damn. Oh man. This is a this is a crazy game going here. We got a complete back and forth going on right now. We see Galleon trying to just. I think he's. I think now he. he really needs to try to get to the bottom of the board otherwise he's going to get punished a bit more but we see Mikami look, look at the cheese at the, at the at the bottom now that you have uh, the cheese garbage that's going to be a pain to try get through that's good that might be game if, if Galen gets pulled through with another TSD opener he thought he had it but instead he has to go through with another TSD there we go that's a back-to-back -back right there and that is Galleon taking it for 3-0 and yeah, wow. uh, Mikami uh, just had that cheese for a long time. It was it stayed relatively low, but just so many different places for of that uh, for that cheese. That, uh, yeah, in my difficult. opinion, cheese is very underrated. Like, uh, yeah, well, if you absolutely. get if it is sent to your side, it it takes longer than usual to try clear it, and then you could have used that time to uh, either do any uh, like any more teaspoon setups or whatnot. Alien, stay here. You're up. <laughs> Oh, it's, Ga it's Galleon against Profane. Yeah, Galleon and Profane now. And then winner uh, plays Demillion. Ooh. And yeah, both agreeing to a warm-up, it looks like. Um, so yeah, we'll see how this plays out here. Uh, Galleon opting for uh, a TKI with a wasted T, and uh, Profane doing the same. I don't know if that's like a special kind of opener or not. Uh, Profane, a bit of a messy stack, a lot of misdrops actually on top of that. Uh, it's going to be really uh, difficult to get through this without eating some sort of punish here, and Profane going to be really high uh, uh, after this uh, interaction. Yeah, just those misdrops are just crazy, and uh, Galleon was able to capitalize. 
Squid Game. They both got the same avatars right there as well. True, yeah. <laughs> that shark avatar. The time, but, uh... Okay, good luck. Have fun, guys. Both starting off with those TKIs, nice, cancelling each, well, I thought that was going to cancel each other, but he's got, both got set the same out of lines. Oh, we see uh, Profane actually sending that back to back right there, and that's going to add some more pressure. Uh, oh, well, okay, wow, that was, that was very quick, 17 yeah. seconds, 18 lines. <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah, it was just crazy, uh, Profane just having trouble uh, dealing with... Uh, uh, Galleon's uh, spikes there. That's a sad cat as well. <laughs> yeah, that is a sad cat. That's yeah. so sad. It says Galleon made you sad too on the taunt. It's so sad. Uh, but yeah, here we go. Both players running off with a TKI here. Uh, Profane able to get the second T-spin uh, as well as Galleon. And uh, both now with clean garbage. Uh, and Profane a T-spin uh, on top of it. Galleon a little bit of a messy stack here. Uh, very peace dependent as well. Oh, this is going to be really difficult to come back from. And yeah, unable to there. Uh, just a lot of misdrops and some uh, difficult uh, stacking. Uh, to just got punished very hard. We see Galleon starting off with the the PCO right there. We see uh, we see Profane just going for the regular up stacking. That might, uh, you know, you can't really go wrong with the up stack. Uh, but we see Galleon right there getting that nice Tetris in, following it up with another back to back. I mean, Profane, might, I think that was a misdrop on Profane's part with the L piece, uh, but nice, nicely recovered. Just oh, just a little bit. Oh no, not like oh this. Goodness. Oh, that was unfortunate. Usually, that like, the good thing with the uh, Tetris stack is just the flexibility that it lets you have. Like, you can just always go down. Um, but, yeah, Profane yeah, exactly. there with the mist drops there just couldn't really go down. And, uh, but even though they're making mist drops, st uh, they, the Profane is still pretty good at clearing, uh, getting those line clears. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just uh, Galleon's doing a very good job of capitalizing on the few mistakes that uh, Profane's had uh, Especially in the set, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so we see Galleon. Oh, oh okay, wasn't even that able to commentate on that. Really, yeah. And that was, I mean, that's game. That's 3 1, isn't it? Yeah, Galleon. that is. Good set there. Uh, yeah, very short games all around there. Oof. Um, that's what happens when you miss drop. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's going to be Galleon against um, D Million. That's going to be very interesting. Galleon on a, quite a run right here. Lost in winner's round one to Mikami, and then tore through, who was it? Uh, Adron, Mr. FAQ, uh, Mikami, who he lost to, and now Profane. And now he's in a grand finals. Has to take two sets off Demillion here uh, to take the championship of Tetris Wednesdays. And yeah, this is a warm up between the players here, uh, but both of them uh, keeping it very clean here. Uh, opting for ST stacking type uh, gameplay here, uh, just to sort of keep it clean, just to have a flexible stack, and just to make a huge damage output, it seems. And it's working really well, actually, for a million here. Uh, Galleon, uh, a little high up, dealing with a lot of pressure here, but uh, still staying clean, uh, staying consistent, uh, and very nice down stack there, huge spike onto Demillion. Uh, we'll see if he's able to down stack through that, and he's not able to in time. Galleon is on his tear. Yeah, good luck. Have fun, everyone. <clears throat> okay, so the first round of the Grand Finals. What's going to happen here? Oh, we see Galleon going for a nice TKI. I think, I'm not sure what Demillion was doing. I think he was just going for a normal 6-3 up stack. But there we go, he gets the Tetris, follows it up with a couple a couple more line clear combos. Um, but we see Galleon with that nice clean garbage that was sent to him. And he, and that was that was a perfect opportunity for him to start off with the uh, Tetris and then follow it through with a combo down stack. And that's Galleon with the 1-0. Yeah, uh, Demillion also a lot of misdrops at the top there. You saw... Uh... 
And yeah, it's just, it's just uh, part of the game. Everyone misdrops sometimes, but uh, the question is whether Demillion can sort of hang on and pull it together for this game here. Uh, and yeah, uh, so both players starting off, uh, D-Million with another 6-3 stack. 6-3 uh, stacking tends to be just slightly better than uh, regular Tetra stacking, just because it also gives sort of the opportunity to make uh, easy T-spins, whereas like a Tetra stack is a lot more difficult. Uh, very nice cut copy there from D-Million, even with the, only the uh, T-spin single there, uh, but still very nice uh, and playing very clean here. Uh, yeah, Galleon uh, opting not to go for the uh, T-spin triple there. Uh, very nice floating T-spin though, big fan of that. Uh, yeah, Demillion keeping a very nice clean stack. Uh, saw that T-spin a mile away, you could tell from how he stacked around it. And now with a little bit of a risky fractal here, but gets two T-pieces. What a huge spike there. That's gonna be it. Uh, that, was, that was crazy. I mean, who doesn't love a good floating T-spin? Am I right? Yeah, it's true. Who doesn't? Hey, what's up, FD? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it's one all to both Galleon and D Million. We see Galleon starting off with that PCO. We see D Million uh, going with that with the same um, with that same um, six three stacking, able to send that Tetris, and he gets the he gets that garbage sent. Uh, I think that's a pretty good spot for where where the uh, perfect clear garbage was sent. And there we go. He just returns all that garbage back to Galleon. Galleon in a bit of trouble right now. He's got a bunch of singles, doubles, and triple uh, garbage lines that he really needs to clear. This may give D Million the perfect opportunity to capitalize on this. And there we go. He follows that through with the Tetris. Uh, uh, Demillion going with that back-to-back -back teeth, but there we go. But we see Galleon uh, still holding in there. He gets that. He gets that teeth spin double. Uh, still holding his own. He's still playing at the top of his board, but he really just needs that eyepiece previously. But unfortunately, Demillion takes the round with 43 lines sent to 30 at 43 seconds as well. Hey. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, EPM is difficult to calculate with this game just because cancelled lines aren't counted. But uh. It was clear that uh, sort of Galleon, the story of that game was Galleon was just sort of stuck at the top and D-Million just wasn't letting him get down and uh, the cheese was also helping out with that. Now with D-Million, the one uh, opting for the perfect clear there, Galleon just uh, opting for the triple T-spin there. Uh, and yeah, opting not to go for the floating T-spin just to keep the uh, stack clean. And yeah, D-Million uh, opting not to tank the garbage, which was a little interesting. Uh, if he had, uh, he might have been able to stack or uh, put more pressure onto Galleon there but uh, uh so that was uh interesting down stacking there from the million uh kept it clean for sure uh it keeps uh, definitely is doing a good job of sort of keeping these teaspoons going and the same can be said for Galleon here um both players playing very clean here uh and very consistent as well uh nice tetris to down stack from the million if he can just get to that uh, uh garbage well there uh, he'll be, oh, unfortunate misdrop of the T-piece there, and that's going to be the game uh, for Galleon. That is you know, too old. The raid, this is it. This is, is this the deciding, this oh, deciding is this, round, isn't oh, it? Oh, it is, isn't it? Wow. It's too old. Wow. Yeah, crazy. And yo, FD, thank you for the raid. Uh, just in time oh, for nice. uh, potential, the last, potentially the last game of this tournament. Okay, so we see Galleon starting off with the PCO right there. I'm not sure what uh, D Million is trying. Is that the WM cannon? I'm not sure Mr. actually. Spin, but I'm even sure. though Galleon gets that PCO sent straight uh, to him, and I mean D Million is in a bit of a pickle right now, as you can see, and that's it. Oh man, very unfortunate for D Million right there. But uh, Galleon just uh, got that PC, and that was it. That was GG. That was just all he had to do was just add a little bit more pressure, and that was it. GG's boys. And yeah, now it's the oh, second you, uh, set. Second. Yeah, bracket reset. Okay, yep. second set. Okay. So uh, zero zero again. Uh, the reason that happens is because uh, this is double elimination, and Demillion hasn't lost a game. Oh, okay. Then do you want to uh, do? Um, do you want to do a warm up for this one? Warm yeah, up. this counts oh, as warm up. Yeah, all good. Uh, so yeah, uh, after that crazy set we saw just now, 
uh, going to game five there, and unfortunate misdrop from the million. We'll see if he's able to sort of keep his composure for the second set here. Uh, but in that warm up, he definitely did uh, keep up his uh, composure. Okay, good luck, have fun. Yes, final match. This is a best of five. So good luck to both Galleon and D Million. Yeah, can't wait to see how this plays out. Go for it, by the way. Okay, so we see Galleon starting off with that uh, PCO. I think uh, D-Million was trying to go for that Hachi spin, but he missed, he missed dropped on that Z-Piece, but he was able to recover that by uh, do it by uh, committing with a, with a T-Spin there. And he gets that nice, uh, he gets another nice Z-Spin. He's at the bottom of his board now, and he gets a nice TS, uh, TSD setup with, uh, with a Tetris follow-up on that. Uh, Galleon was unable to get that uh, T-Spin on because I think his overhang was one, uh, one block just over, and that created the punish on uh, Galleon for million to take the first round. Yeah. So, 1-0 to uh, D-Million. And yeah, D-Million showing after losing that first set, like, nah, 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 this isn't, this isn't going to be free for you after oh, so uh, losing that first oh, wait, set. Sorry, yeah. No, go for it, sorry. Interrupt. Sorry, I guess not. Uh, so, uh, game two here. <laughs> uh, Galleon just opting for some clean stacking, I suppose, and while D-Million going for the perfect clear here. Uh, Galleon using the eyepiece before receiving the garbage there, but uh, it does seem to work out in his favor uh, as he gets a very nice clean down stack. Uh, yeah, D-Million uh, still keeping it clean, uh, able to get that Tetris a little high up, uh, but uh, still, you know, keeping it competitive here and able to get down very far there in that one uh, down stack combo. Uh, giving Galleon also a lot of cheese, which might sort of uh, be used to D-Million's favor. As I say that, D-Million, huge spike there, uh, Tetris on top of a T-Spin, uh, sending a lot of garbage. Now Galleon, the one in trouble here. Uh, we'll see, uh, opting for the T-Spin single without double rotating the T-Piece uh, made his garbage inaccessible. And this is an down stack there. So yeah, Dal, you were going to say something and then I interrupted you, so that's my bad. Uh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> all good, all good. Uh, okay, well, that, that's 2-0 that's to D-Million. Uh, D-Million coming back away with that strong start right now. And we see both TKI openings from both Galleon and D-Million, nice. Uh, D-Million, unfortunately, as he, he uh, placed that eyepiece on top of the garbage line, same, but he was able to clear that nicely from, uh, yeah, nicely on D-Million side. Galleon, uh, he's not looking too bad right now. He has a nice stack going on. He gets that triple line clear going on, but he opens him up for a Tetris. There we go, he starts getting that combo down stack. And as we can see on D-Million side, he's canceling it out himself. He makes a, he makes an S-spin miss, uh, sorry, he makes an uh, S-mino miss drop, but uh, he doesn't really get punished too hard. He's got some cheese on him now, but we see Galleon opening up for that Tetris. And uh, he's, he's still, he's, I think he's just gonna have to try find his way down, but as he's doing so, he's getting those T-spin doubles in, following it out with a, with a triple line clear. And that, that's what, that's what the, the tactic seems to be right now, you know? You just find, well, try to place a T-spin setup up on top of the garbage holes that are sent to you so you can just follow through. And that, uh, in doing so, you send some, you send four lines and then a couple of uh, little bits of cheese. And that is it, that is three that's nil to D million, a clean sweep, GG's. And to I mean, both D Million and Galleon. And I mean, congratulations to both players, honestly. You know, D Million, obviously, for winning the tournament, but Galleon had an, a very impressive run, you know, especially, you know, losing in winners round one there. And uh, then tearing. I want to say, well, well played to everyone as well who, who participated in this Wednesday's tournament. Exactly, yeah. You know, everyone's important and uh, keeps these tournaments happening, you know? So just all the participants, thanks to you for making this possible. Uh, and yeah, uh, congrats to uh, all the players, uh, especially again D-Million for winning and uh, Galleon for his very impressive losers run. And uh, I think with that, we're going to sign off, unless you have something else to say. Uh, no, just uh, yeah, it was a great commentary. Uh, and yeah, hopefully do him again in the future. Yeah, thank you for uh, agreeing to do this with me, you know. Yeah, uh, man. So I appreciate good. that, yeah. Uh, and yeah, have a okay, good one. Okay, might as well wrap it up then. Yeah. All right. See you, nerds. <laughs> uh, uh, 
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, okay, see you guys. <laughs> oh, wait. FD might. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. FD is up. Summer Splash. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. All right. Uh, so, guys, a big announcement, important announcement. Uh, sorry for uh, for getting to uh, uh, promote this here. Shoot, let me pull up the poster real quick. Uh, so, yeah, Variety TV is hosting uh, an event. Um, for here we go. let me let me get that image. It's hosting uh, an event for charity, which is really exciting. Uh, it's for the charity. Uh, uh, let me let me pull up that. Uh, 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 Modest, can you invite FD into this call? Oh yeah, go for it. Uh, actually, wait. Am I friends with you, FD? Shoot. Oh, we're not even. Otherwise, we can Dal. just join the Fried TV voice channel. Wait, Dal, friend me real quick. Otherwise, I can't. I can't uh, add people to the call. Dal, could you send me that friend request on Discord so that I can add people? Uh, Dal, you there? You got that? I've sent you a uh, friend request, FD. No, you need to send me one too, so that I can add friends to the call. Del, old well, buddy, old Del. Okay. You know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was, I felt good about that one. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, there you go. Um, okay, he said he's ready. I, uh, there you go. I added FD to the call. I'm finding the poster right now. Here we go. Perfect. I got it. My mic too loud for the stream. Beautiful. Uh, I got the poster up, so go for it. <laughs> All right. So, uh, I guess TF music is, uh, is going there. I mean, but, it. uh, don't mean to, don't mean to steal the, uh, the spotlight at the end of the stream, but you know, this is something that uh, if you're going to stream on the VTV channel, you know, that we got to do here. But anyway, uh, the VTV Summer Splash, can you shrink it, that down a little bit? Shrink so it? Fit the whole thing, like, shrink it uh, so they can see the whole thing, the whole poster. Oh, it's not. <laughs> I think the whole poster's on there. That's how it looks in Streamlabs anyway. Oh, you got to shrink it down, though. Like, <laughs> shrink this side. But uh, VTV, oh, you're almost there. VTV Summer Splash 2019. Oh, there we go. They're shrinking it down. Uh, but as you all know, for those of you who haven't heard yet, this, this is one of our biggest events of the year, the four-day gaming charity marathon. Uh, this year, help, benefiting Help Hope Live. And actually, uh, the official poster uh, for this is in uh, resource, the resources page on Discord, since I messed up on the logo a little bit. Uh, but that's all good. Um, so for those of you who don't know, what is Help Hope Live? Um, they help support... Uh, community-based fundraising for people with unmet medical expenses uh, due to cell and organ transplants or, you know, catastrophic injuries and illnesses. So pretty much what that means is um, they help to fundraise to support people and um, help them provide for, you know, certain transplants or, you know, injuries and illnesses that they cannot really afford to uh, to pay for. So you are uh, effectively providing them with a uh, chance to improve their health and keep themselves healthy and alive. So you're helping them hope to live you know so help hope live you know great name to uh um to go by for the charity uh from what they're doing so it's going to be just a great event and a wonderful charity that we are supporting this year for the summer splash so how it, how it works you know is uh for four days straight uh 24 7 during this whole four days we just uh have every almost like all the casters at part of etv that are on this channel streaming so you get to see a lot uh a lot of our um our casters that are part of the VTV team and also uh, other casters around Twitch who join us as well. So it is, uh, <laughs> this is something that we are very excited to uh, pre present to y'all. This is going to be probably our biggest uh, summer splash this year. It's our third annual summer splash. We're going to have a lot more incentives and challenges, a lot more memes, a lot of randomizer runs for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it is going to be uh, very hype. So two things that you can do uh, if you don't uh, plan a stream for this as well, like if you are a streamer and you actually want to stream with us for this and be a featured caster on the channel, uh, just DM one of the admins on the VTV Discord. Uh, just got to post that real quick. All right. But also, 
um, if you want to help out, you know, uh, without even being a caster and whatnot, there's uh, great ways you can do so. So two two good ways right now is, you know, being in the promotion phase of Summer Splash. Uh, there is a pinned post, actually, on the VTV Twitter, like the Moobot just posted right there. Uh, there is a pinned post for this. Uh, that we which we officially announced the summer splash event you can retweet that you can like that and or you can uh go to the the discord uh, download that poster that we have from the resources page and just share with everyone that you know you don't have to do all those things but you know at least one of those things will help out uh quite a lot more than people will under, actually realize it does a great deal of help in uh, getting the word out there for the summer splash so you know Absolutely. our goal this year is uh, 500 for Hope Hope Live. We can definitely do that. Uh, our last marathon, this the uh, Christmas marathon 2018, we in just three days we raised uh, 516 for St. Jude. So uh, in four days we can definitely uh, hit that goal as well for Hope Hope Live. So it's just an amazing charity. We cannot wait to support. This is our first time working with Hope Hope Live. They uh, have been very supportive with us and working with us behind the scenes as well. So it's a very interactive uh, sort of charity organization. Uh, that actually works with the people who run events to support them. So that's actually pretty cool. A lot of good things that you can expect to see in the Summer Splash event. If you want to look at, like, uh, for example, things that have happened in the past with their charity, charity marathons, you actually in the videos or clips, you will see collections, of, like video collections of our past marathons uh, that we have done starting from the Christmas Marathon 2016. So a three-year history of these marathons uh, are co recorded in video collections on uh, on this channel. So if you want to check a look, take a look at that, all of our highlights and casters that have been a part of the Summer Splash and the and the Winter Marathons, it's uh, going to be hype. So our third one this year, um, share share with your friends and family, you, uh, just retweet and like all that stuff. That's pretty much all I have to say um, for that, though. So don't miss the Summer Splash, an event you definitely want to come to and uh, you know check out as well. Come stop by, say hi. If you want to stream for that, like I said, DM the admins. Um, and also... We hope, to, we hope to see every one of you there for this event because it's going to be hype. Uh, and you get to see a lot of cool casters there that you probably have not met or seen before. So anyway, Summer Splash 2019, July 15th to the 19th. It starts at noon PST. So I'll let y'all close it out. Uh, yeah. So thank you all for dropping by. Uh, guys, follow Dal on Twitch, honestly. Like, what a nice guy. All right. He definitely deserves it. <laughs> thank Let's you. be honest here. But... uh. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for participating and dropping by. And yeah, can't wait for next Tuesday where I hopefully do better. <laughs> I kid, of course. But uh, yeah, thank you all. That's it. You gotta, you gotta call it now. Yeah, modest to win the next uh, Tetris Tuesday. That's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. But yeah. Uh, thank you all, and have a good one.